Hey guys, starting today, we are gonna make a scottle. Uh, you've seen me cook on this scottle several times in some of my other videos, and in my URI video, we went to URI, I told you that we was gonna make one of these from scratch. We was gonna use an old plow disc. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, these things are quite expensive, and I'll put a link right here uh, on how much these things cost. They are expensive when you buy them. It'll be an Amazon link. So this is what we're gonna use. It's an old plow disc off a of har. Uh, we got it from a farmer that lives uh, pretty close to me. So we're gonna try and keep a record of how much this costs. How much can you actually build a scottle for? And I, I bet it's gonna be a lot cheaper than going and buying one already made other than the work you gotta put into it. So we're gonna start by grinding this. Uh, we're gonna weld some parts on it. Go, we're gonna go and get one of the propane burners and we'll just make one and we'll keep a running tally of how much this stuff cost and at the end of it we'll probably use it a couple of times and then one of you guys is going to get it so to get this project started first thing we've got to do is take the grinder safety glasses safety and grind all the rust and everything off of it get it all cleaned up guys so that takes a little while to grind this but this is the, the finished product after i get all the rust and everything off of it we'll clean it up all it uh of course we're going to bake it out and all that kind of stuff but uh we'll get the next portion started we got to cut out a piece of steel to fit the square hole we'll get that welded in all right so to keep the cost down we'll use all the scrap metal that we can find So after getting this piece cut off, it fits in this hole, nice and snug. We'll get it welded in there and ground down. So, so this is on camera. So when I got home from work today, I got all this. As you can see, the LJ is all decorated just like this. Happens to be close to someone's birthday. Now that we got our welding done, back to grinding. Grind the disc, change it out, continue going. All right, so we got this ground down nice and smooth. The next thing we need to do is make these pieces here that holds the legs. So it's just some round tubing, quarter 20 hole tapped in it. Get those welded on after we make them. All right, so digging around, we found some more scrap tubing. We'll go ahead and get three of these cut for the legs. All 
All right, got our piece cut. We'll go right down to the drill press. And over to the vise, and we'll tap the hole. All right, so we'll get these uh, all cleaned up with a grinder, chamfer the holes where the tapped holes are. We'll make two more. All right, so to get our radius that we want to put on this where the legs are, first of all, we found this festive string. It was, it was close by. So we tied it off at about six and a half inches. We found our center. We'll do it the old fashioned way. We'll just put it on here. And that's our circle. All right, we got our three pieces made on the plate here. We've got it marked out best we could do to get three equal places. Now we're ready to weld them up. have anything to make the legs out of so we did have to go to Lowe's Hardware. We bought some uh, some black pipe to make the legs out of. They're 30 inches long so we're just gonna cut a few legs up. There it is with the legs. Now we've got to mount the burner on the bottom, the propane burner. So we'll figure out how to, how to get that on there. Using some angle iron pieces, this will go over and we'll put a screw here and that will hold our burner in. I think that's going to work. All right, so we're almost done with this. We've got it on its legs. We got the brackets under there to hold the burner in. We still have to drill and tap and put some screws in here to hold this, hold this tight. But it's good enough right now where we can fire it up. So we ran out of welding gas, so we can't really weld anymore tonight. But we're going to go ahead and drill the holes for those screws to hold the propane burner in. And it's basically done. Uh, we will tally up how much we have in this. We don't have a whole lot in it, not compared to what they cost new. Uh, but everything seems to be working, and we will cook on it soon. So we got these on, you don't put these very tight. That's what holds it in. Everything's nice and tight. 
So we will get the we'll get the legs painted. We'll get it all cleaned up, and we'll do some cooking on it before long. All right, so we got our scottle made. Uh, I'm going to change a couple of things about it. For one, uh, we bought the smaller pipe. It, it, it's a little wobbly, so I'm going to change that out. And once we do that, it should be good to go. Uh, so what everybody's wanting to know is, how much did this cost? Well, I've got it wrote down here. Uh, so our burner was $25. We bought that at Walmart. It's this piece under here that holds the, uh, the propane, the actual burner itself. Uh, the pipe... We had to buy uh, one stick and we made three pieces out of it. That was $34 at Lowe's. Uh, the eye bolts is these threaded uh, nuts here that holds everything together. Those were $1.29 each, that's $7.75. And then we went through three grinder discs uh, doing all this and that was $18. So the total was, we have $85 in this. It was a fun project to do. Uh, so. Keep watching. You'll see us cook on the scottle. We're going to test it out thoroughly, and then we will give you details on how you can be the winner of this product.